guys, so my name is Alessandra, also known as that crazy cat lover Allie, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play the Harry Potter theme song on the piano. So I'm going to first show it out to you and then I'm going to teach it to you guys. So that's it. It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. So I'm going to put this into three parts. The first part. The second part. And the third part. Okay. So let's start out with the first part. So what you're going to do is first play B, and then you're going to play E. So it goes, and then after that you're going to go G, G flat, E, so it's B, E, G, G flat, E, and then what you're going to play next is B, A, G flat again. So if we put all of that together, then you get B E G G flat E B A G flat. So you can pause the video and practice that a couple times if you'd like, or you can just continue on if you've already got it. So now part two, what we're going to do is play E, G, G flat, E flat, E, B. So I'll do that a little bit slower. E, G, G flat, E flat, E, B. Now when you put that all together, it's going to play out like this. Now, there's a little thing with this B key at the end. Some people play it like... But I think that it sounds better when you play it as... Now, if that tricked you, it doesn't matter. I'm just debating whether you should hold the B key or play it twice. Um, that's up to you. I think you should hold it because I think it just sounds cooler. But that's my opinion. When you put the first part and the second part together, you're going to get this. Okay, now this next part is the part that gets really tricky. I'll play it out first. Okay, so we're going to start it off just like the first part where we go B, E, G, G flat, E. But this is the part where it gets weird, because you go and you press the B, but instead of wanting to press the A like you did the first part, you go down and press D. So, you go. Alright, so once you get the hang of that part, you can go into the next part. After you've played the D, what you're going to do is go up and play the D flat. After that, you go back down and play C to get it sounding like this. So once again, that's B, E, G, G flat, E, B, D, D flat, C. 
Okay, and then after you press the C, what you're gonna do is go over here. You so see, you go over here to the A flat. Then you're gonna go back to the C. So you get. Once again, that's B, E, G, G flat, E, B, D, D flat, C, A flat, C. Once you get that part done, you're going to get into it going from the C to B, B flat. So then you'll get... which is from the top which means we're almost done so once again that's B E G G flat E B D D flat C A flat C B B flat So you can practice that a couple times, or you can continue going if you already got it down. But once you play that B flat, you're going to go down to back to the G flat. G, E, E. So now if you put that entire last part together, you're going to get this. B, E, G, G flat, E, B, D, D flat C, A flat C, B, B flat, G flat, G, E, E. So once you practice that and get it down, then you can put the entire thing together. Hopefully you remember what I taught you before, or else you're going to have to go back to the beginning of the video. But once you get to the end, it's going to sound just like this. Alright, so that's all I'm going to be teaching you guys today. Thanks for watching. Like if you liked the video or learned how to play or got some kind of benefit from the video. And make sure to subscribe and check out all my other videos. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later.